My name's Brother Simon, I'm from the Peacekeepers UK. We've just finished the debate on um, youth and it was a wonderful debate. Um, we're from the Peacekeepers, we are working in the community, we're going after the knife crime and the gun crime and the violence in the community. We're asking men to stand up to be men. 
We want men to stop making excuses and come together and help to stop the senseless killings in our community. We don't care what race you're from, what religion you're from. When you put on this orange t-shirt which says peacekeepers or says I'm present for peace, that's what we're saying, that we now are presenting ourselves to bring about peace. We send love, we give love to the people in the community. We help our community, we work with our community. We go out for an hour of power. What is an hour of power? The hour of power is us coming together for 60 minutes a week to help our community. We go out, we show love to our people, like I said before. Why do we show love to our people? Because our people have had a hell of a time. So they need love. The young people need love. And you saw today that the amount of talent that they have, but it just needs to be nurtured. But we have to now stop the killing in the community. Once we stop the, the killing, then it's easier for us to help all of the talent in our community. My name's Chris Cyrus. Um, I was invited by Sandra. Sandra met me at another debate where I was performing spoken word and engaged with young people. Um, I run an organisation called Sarah Consultancy that delivers creative youth services. Um, I came here today just to hear the young people's voices, to network with other people that are in the youth work field. Um, I found the debate very interesting. I felt like there was some dodging of questions uh, by the police, um, but at the same time, they, they're, they're here, they're present, and they're representing their, their point of view and, and, and engaging with the young people, which is important. Um, when the police and young people can have a forum and engage in discussion with each other, it's important because that's about building relationships. So I appreciate that. Um, and I like the idea of, of people just expressing themselves and, and having a platform to do that, um, that's safe. Um, and well organised and has been very well organised um, and I'm happy to be here and be at the next one as well um, and that's it. My name is Errol Pearson, I'm a police officer based in Lambeth on the African Caribbean Community Liaison Officer. I've uh, been a police officer for seven years and uh, I've been in my role for three years. Uh, my main role or position, uh, position is to act as a communication link between Metropolitan Police and the African Caribbean Community within Lambeth. Uh, and to listen to what the concerns are around policing uh, from the community and to make a feedback to senior management and to see where there are areas that can be improved or what's going well. Um, today we were here with the debate, listening to young people concerning the disturbances that happened in August of this year, 2011. And it was interesting to hear their points of view about as to the reasons why uh, these disturbances happened. It's also tackling the issue around stop and search uh, and it's interesting to hear their views around stop and search. It is a useful tool that police um, can remove weapons from the street, but we'd like to ask anyone like to know how it can be improved in even more areas. Um, I do have a passion about uh, saving our youth on the street because we have a particular issue around youth uh, gang and youth crime, in, in particular uh, gun murders or gun crime. So I have sons of my own. Um, I'm concerned when they go out that they come back safely. I know from speaking to many, many parents uh, within, the, within the black community have their great, great concerns around what's happening to our young children. Um, I've seen mothers who are crying by their sons. I've seen one, wasteless young lives who have lost, who could have gone on and produced great leaders of the future. We don't know because that life has been taken away. Um, and I'd like to think that we can somehow begin to reverse this um, and try and engage somehow within the system that uh, these young people are, are saying is not given an opportunity. Uh, we need to be uh, intelligent in how we address these issues. We need to be um, intelligent in terms of who we have on board and, and who, we, who we listen to. Um, there is a myth about uh, getting money easily through drugs, uh, through crime and things and reality is you ain't going to get rich at that very, 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 very few people are going to get rich by doing that. The more likely that you're going to end up uh, seriously injured, seriously hurt or if not uh, dead. Uh, so we try to destroy those myths, uh, we try to forge a new path in a new way. It's about building aspirations and uh, giving people hope. And that's what we want to try and make, bring back some hope and some love, rebuilding the black community, rebuilding the black family unit that used to be there many years ago. 
Um, we hear that time and time again that family unit has somehow been disintegrated. And we want to rebuild that, going back to your old traditions and old values that will enable us to have a foundation which we can build on. And that's my point.